Hey guys, Andy here from Mediocre Hobbies bringing you another painting tutorial for my Demons playlist. So Games Workshop very kindly sent me out the new uh, Disciples of Zinch Battle Tome. And as such, I thought it was time to show you guys uh, one or two of the Zinch Demon units as I haven't shown you any of them on the channel just yet. So I thought the smartest place to begin would be of course with the Pink Horror, the basic infantry for the Disciples of Zinch. But it occurred to me very quickly that there would be absolutely no point in showing you guys how to paint out pink horror without also showing you my way of doing blue horrors and brimstone horrors as it's basically the same unit. So without further ado guys, we're gonna get into showing you guys how to paint up horrors for Zinch. But before I get into the video, I just wanna take the opportunity to thank all of my patrons who helped me make these videos a month in and month out. So thank you guys so much for your continued support. Um, and I'm glad that the uh, Discord server is growing so frantically. There's over a hundred of us in there now. Um, so if any of you guys are interested in getting involved with the uh, Discord uh, or any other part of the Patreon, there's links to it below. So without further ado guys, let's get into the video. Okay guys, so like I said, we're gonna work through all three of the horrors in this video and we're going to go in order, starting with the pink. So all the models are sprayed black and then given a zenithal of gray sear um, just to uh, have a really nice base coat for the contrast paints. Volopus pink was used to lay down the base coat of the pink on the pink horror. This is a very quick and easy step. For anyone who doesn't know why I'm doing these three videos all lumped together, uh, all of the horrors are basically the same unit. You deploy a unit of 10 pink horrors at the start of the game. Every time a pink horror is killed, two blue horrors go in his place and then every time a blue horror dies a brimstone horror base uh, which contains two brimstone horrors um, is also put down so yes you must paint all of three of them in order to make up a single unit looks on purple was used just for the inside of the mouth and the tongue of the pink horror super quick and easy step nothing too crazy From here, we are going to move over to Nasdreg Yellow. And we are gonna use this for all the base coat on all of the teeth and horns, including fingernails and stuff like that. Another quick and easy step. I wanna make these as quick as possible to paint. As like I said, for every 10 unit of pink horrors you want in your army, you're going to be required to paint up 50 miniatures, which is kind of insane when you think about it. Now the pink horrors, of course, are the, the least amount of miniatures that make up the unit. It is only 10 pink horrors. So the pink horrors will, of course, be the main ones. They are the largest ones. So we're going to spend the most time on these guys to make them stand out the most. And then the blue will put less effort in and the brimstone will put even less effort in. Retributor armor is used for all of the trinkets. Zinch um, is definitely one for the bling. So there's lots of little uh, ringlets and armlets and stuff like that going around these miniatures. Lots of little tokens. So uh, give them all a base coat of Retributor Armor Gold. This is another quick and easy step. Retributor Armor gives such good coverage um, that you don't need to go back over and over and over. It's just one nice, consistent coat. We're then gonna move over to the Witch Fire that makes up the fire in his hand. And I went for Corandrus Green. I'm sorry, I did record it, but I, most of it was off the camera by mistake. So. Uh, I here it is. Coranger screen was used for the fire. Then to add a little bit of a homely touch to it, as in a like a more natural tone, Rikon Flesh Shape was used to wash down the entire miniature. I've used this kind of technique before on things like my orange squigs. I use Rikon Flesh Shapes to shade just so it adds, like I said, a bit more warmth and kind of aliveness, if that makes sense, to the skin tones. Next, we're gonna move over to Pink Horror. Fun enough painting Pink Horror with Pink Horror. This step is by far the longest and most tedious and because pink is uh, like a bright and vibrant color, it is hard to get a nice consistent coat. Um, so across the 10 pink cars, this will take the most amount of time. So just be aware of that when you go into it. But like I said, we wanted to spend the extra time on pink cars to make them really stand out. I'd say it took kind of seven minutes ish um, to layer up the pink horror, which you know saying seven minutes doesn't seem like a lot of time But if you go across uh, 10 minutes at the same time, we're talking an hour and 10 minutes of just layering up pink skin on a unit Some people that might seem like a lot some people that might not seem like much at all, but each their own whatever you feel about it 
just take your time and get all of the pink layered up. Some of the um, parts of the miniature you might want to go over with a second coat, the higher points, just to make it stand out much uh, kind of more starkly. So raise cheeks and stuff like that on his arms and stuff. The shapty bone was used to highlight all the bits that we did the Nasdreg yellow on. So all the teeth, horns and fingernails. Once again, this is another really quick step. I, like I said, a minute, minute 30 seconds for each uh, individual horror you do and uh, you can have it done. As you can see, the model has become a lot more bright and vibrant with the addition of the pink horror stage. Iron Breaker was used to uh, add a little touch and scratch highlight to all of the gold parts. Nothing crazy. Although they do enjoy their bling, it's definitely not the focusing color on the miniature. Zinch Demons are all sorts of crazy colors, so yeah, people aren't going to be focusing on the gold all that much. It's that kind of bright and vibrant skin across all the different miniatures that's going to be the thing that stands out the most. And then a quick coat of moot green to highlight that witch fire. Now in the book, they usually do these fire um, kind of like actual fire, but I much prefer the, uh, the idea of it being like warp and magical. So I went for a nice bright and vibrant green. If you want to go for standard fire, that is of course up to you. I just feel like this screams zinch demonic energy more than just, you know, red fire. Right, now it's time to move on to the blue horror. Same exact thing, spray black, Zenith Little Grace here. And then we're gonna start with Azurin Blue Contrast to get a first coat of blue across all of the skin. These being the little cousin of the pink car. They're very similar in their kind of design. It's one big block color for the skin. He's got a witch fire in one hand. He's got some gold trinkets, um, same kind of tongue. Um, same basic idea, just a color change. For this guy's tongue, however, I went for Sigvald Burgundy because I wanted to make it more pinky. I don't know why I did that when I was painting it. It just it was next to me and it seemed like a really nice idea. You can, of course, stick with the uh, the same color as you did for the pink car if you don't have to buy another contrast paint. Karanjus Green was once again used for the witch fire. Originally, I thought the beak on this guy was going to be a different color, but it turns out that it was not. But if I go and paint the rest of the squad, I may actually paint in their beaks a little bit to make them an extra uh, different color, just to break up all that blue a little bit more. And that's something you may want to consider as well. Once again, Retributor Armor Gold was used to highlight or to put a base coat on. Once again, all the gold trinkets and stuff that are on this miniature. And with that, and to tie all of them together, once again, we're going to grab our Reichland Flesh Shade and give the entire model a quick coat of it. Wait for that to dry, and then we'll get stuck into the uh, shading stage. The blue hires are less than half the size of pink hire. They're quite adorable. After the shade is dry, it's time to go on and layer up the blue. I chose Kaldor Sky for this. And unlike the pink, which was kind of a long process, that's mainly because pink is such a difficult color to paint over, so bright. Whereas Kaldor Sky, the darker blue, it, one clean, quick coat, it only takes, I don't know, maybe a minute, a minute and a half, two minutes to layer up each individual blue horror, so no time at all. And it's one of those things that's it's quite a treat to paint because it goes on quite smoothly and uh, quite strongly. From here, we are going to go into, once again, Iron Breaker to add the same scratch and touch highlights to the gold. So basically the main skin of these demons will be different, but the witch fire, the gold, any teeth and nails, tongues, they should all be the same color. Going back to Mook Green to once again highlight that witch fire. Like I said, I haven't shown you guys how to highlight the tongues or do the eyes on these guys. I'm sure you guys know how to do those kind of steps. Um, and like I said, these, we need to paint 15 models for every 10 guys, so it's gonna take your time. Karandras Green is gonna be used on this entire thing. So these are little, um, whenever a blue horror dies, one of these guys gets put down, which is actually two individual models on the base, two brimstone horrors. 
and these are just the warp fire that that's all they are they're made up of the same material as what's the fire in the demon's hand so i'm just going to paint them very quickly same idea Crander's green was used all over the miniature and then all i did was give them a quick highlight of moot green and that's it I also went back in and painted their eyes to match the other guys. If you want to know how I did their eyes, I did a touch of white um, on all the pupils and then I just added a quick coat of Talar's Air Blue over the top to give them the glowing blue effect eyes across my demons. That's literally it. But with that done and this quick uh, layer job of moot green across all of the fire, that brings the painting of the three horrors to a close in a, uh, I think a nice concise amount of time. I mean, the video we're at is about 10 minutes so far, and I've shown you guys how to paint up all three versions of the horrors. Pink horror, nice and tidy. Blue horror, nice and tidy. And then just a quick showing of the final brimstone horror, which is of course the least impressive miniature in the the, uh, the trio, but still quite cool. And this is what the three of them would look like on a battlefield. As you can see, they're all mad and different colors. But just imagine the 50 of these miniatures on the table all together. It would look quite special and quite interesting. So I hope you guys did, in fact, enjoy me bringing horrors to my channel. Okay guys, there we have it. One pink, one blue, and one brimstone horror painted up and ready for the battlefield. If you guys enjoyed this video, which I really hope you did, make sure you hit the like button. If you have any uh, questions for me on the painting of any of the Zinch Demons in the book or any other questions for that matter, drop it in the comments below and I will get back to each and every one of you guys. And if for some crazy reason you are not already subscribed to my channel, it would mean the world to me. So two seconds out of your day and hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.